update. Hi folks, Basil Chapman. This is the uh, Friday, the 27th of May edition. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. We're looking at the Dow up uh, 227, the S&P up 57, and we're looking at the E-mini having perhaps made at least a short term on intraday high at 42, uh, 41.26.00, round number high on the E-mini, S&P E-mini. And we're now at 41.13, peak D in the uh, uh, one minute chart, peak E in the Chapman Wave five minute chart, and peak D. We'll see. And I can just tell you this, that if there is a move below 41.05, then the 200 period moving average of 40.97 becomes a target. But anytime throughout the day, if there is just even a spike to uh, 41, the high was 41.26. If we go to 41.33, that is that's going to just force buyers into the last hour. Usually, it'll have some kind of a, a dip just pr prior to the long weekend. So yeah, we go. We got the Dow. Do this real quickly. There we go. You've got the Dow up 222. At uh, 32,859, I believe on the shorter term, the 32,900 to 33,050 level is going to be strong resistance, and we'll see how it deals with that. You're looking at the S&P right now is up uh, 56 at 4114, very strong leg B. Uh, key support is around about the 4085 level today. You're looking at the um, QQQ having a very strong move up, giving a little bit of a back at up 6.11 to 305. Very nice move. Key support now is at 302 in the short term. You're looking at the IWM, which had a very good move as well. It's up 2.42 at 185.14. Um, this is one we're going to keep following because it might be telling us that money is going to come into the small caps bill C. Crude oil is, in fact, um, down 62 cents. I think that crude oil is very close to some kind of a, uh, just a brief, uh, maybe an encounter with some profit taking. You're looking at the TLT, which is the uh, bonds TLT trading right now. It made a leg D in a very quick peak, A peak, B peak, C and peak D in a short, just a brief, uh, you know, from 100 and 113-ish, 112 to 119. It's just struggling, struggling, struggling. And you're looking at the volatility. Our gold, <clears throat> gold is uh, just about unchanged, up three. But the volatility index is going to be very important. If it starts to move up, it's right at a chapter wave inside track support level. And if it manages to, if it, if it breaks under 2570, with the market still holding very well, that's going to be very important. But if it starts to rally, you can see 27.50, a little bit of a breather in the market after this spectacular few days. Have a wonderful long weekend. Stay tuned for Larry Pisaventi for a great program for the rest of the day.